This week's 48 Hours investigates the death of a well-known hairstylist. A Los Angeles mother is set to go on trial next month for conspiring to kill her husband, celebrity hairstylist Fabio Cimentilli. This was back in 2017. Now, prosecutors say that his wife, her name is Monica, was secretly having an affair with a killer, her racquetball instructor. This sounds like a movie that's not going to end well. 48 Hours and Michelle Miller have a very exclusive new information on this case. On January 23rd, 2017, beauty executive Fabio Cimentilli was stabbed to death by his pool in Woodland Hills, an upscale Los Angeles suburb. His then 16-year-old daughter, Isabella, found his body. It looked like a textbook break-in, a robbery gone wrong. Mary Fulgeniti is a CBS News consultant. She says police had one good clue. A neighbor's camera caught two hooded figures near the house. And later, those same figures making their escape in Simontilli's black Porsche. The crime seemed to go unsolved for months, but secretly, detectives had a lead. They discovered DNA at the bloody scene, DNA that led them to this racquetball instructor, Robert Baker. Investigators say he was having an affair with Fabio's wife, Monica Cimentilli. You can see him here with Monica at the wake for Fabio. On his finger, a bandage. Investigators say he cut himself when he stabbed Fabio. In court filings, prosecutors say Monica had shared the password for her home security system with Baker. Both she and Baker were arrested and pleaded not guilty. But in July 2023, Robert Baker changed his plea. Robert Baker pleads no contest, and that's in essence accepting responsibility for the murders. He's ultimately sentenced to life without parole. Two weeks ago, 48 Hours went to visit Baker in jail. He told us Monica had nothing to do with the murder, and she never knew he was the killer. Still, most of Fabio's family has turned against Monica. But the daughters she shared with Fabio are supporting her. We will continue to stand by our mother as we have done, and we will fight for her innocence. So, Michelle, that surveillance video seemed to be a huge break for the cops, but there are two people in it. One is Baker. Right. Do you know who the other one is? We do not know who the other person is. We do know that it is not Monica Cimentilli, because at the time of the murder, she was at a Target store about 10 minutes so away. she had an alibi. She had an alibi. But there's an interesting point that both defense and prosecutors, both teams, say there's a reason why she was at that target. Oh. You're going to learn all about that. Wow. That's called a tease, Ooh. Michelle Miller. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. You can see Michelle's full report, The Monica Simontelli Affair, tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS. And, of course, it streams on Paramount+. Plus.